Okay, dear students, let us see what is there in this uh, question. The voltmeter is used in another circuit that contains two secondary cells. Cell A has an EMF of 10 volt and internal resistance of 1 ohm. Cell B has an EMF of 4 volt and the internal resistance 2 ohm. Calculate the reading on the voltmeter. So how are we going to do this? First of all, this question is about the Kirchhoff's law and we have to apply Kirchhoff's law here. So Kirchhoff's law is made up of two uh, laws. And what are those? Like first is the junction law. So according to junction law, we have to first of all distribute the current in the circuit. So the point to be noted here is this is the voltmeter and the ideal voltmeter has a resistance equal to infinite. So whenever the voltmeter is used like this in any of the circuit, we will imagine that it is having infinite resistance. And so current will not enter into this branch. So in this branch, there will be no current. Okay. Now, another thing, there are two batteries which are connected, like we can call it in parallel, but later we will found that it is a series. Anyways, so they're connected like this. This is a 10 volt battery. This is 4 volt battery. So 10 volt is bigger battery. So current will be distributed according to 10 volt. So 10 volt wants this current to move like this. Let us say that the current is I and this I will directly pass over to the other battery because this branch is not sharing any current. So this current will enter into the battery. This is called a charging of the battery. And now the current is moving up and it will go like this and it will return to the battery again. So this is the complete distribution of the current. So this is the junction law uh, from the Kirchhoff's law that we have applied here. Now this is done. What else? Now we are moving to the loop law. Loop law and we apply the principle of the loop law. So current is moving like this. So what we can do is we can have this big loop. Uh, in the same direction as that of the current. So I am creating this loop here like this. So how to write this now? Let us start from this battery uh, outlet, uh, the positive outside. So it will be 10, it will be taken positive. 10 will move like this and we are now encountering another battery and we are encountering the positive terminal first so we would be subtracting this battery. So it will be minus four. Okay. This battery is in the favor of current. This is against the current. Now we are now facing the resistance and I is the current that is passing through it. So voltage is dropped here and it will be taken like V is equal to I R. So I into R. Now we are moving in this direction and we reach this point and now we are facing another resistance. So it will be again, the current will be I and the resistance will be one. Now we have reached the negative terminal of the battery. So we can just equate this thing equal to zero. Now we can find the current here. And from here, we find that the current in the circuit will be equal to two ampere. So two ampere is the current that is coming out of the battery and 2 ampere is the current that is going into the battery for charging. Now, there is another formula and which is that that is the formula for the terminal voltage. So terminal voltage is the potential difference across a battery with internal resistance when the current I is passing through it. So there are two formulas for this. What are they? First of all, if it is discharging if battery is discharging so vt is equal to e minus ir and if it is charging because there are two cases so i am giving you both of the formulas that is e plus ir so e plus ir will be applied on the second battery and e minus ir will be applied on the cell a so i am going to be a little quicker now so it is 10 minus 1 into 2 that is 2 so it is 8 volt so the reading of the voltmeter will be 8 volt. And for the second battery also, if we want to apply, it will be E plus I into R. So even this is coming out to be 8 volt. So our answer will be 8 volt. So with this, all the best.